Hey, you know Snow White? You mean the first ever Disney animated film that Walt Disney himself did not want any adaptations, reboots, or sequels for because it might taint the Disney legacy? Yeah, that's the one! We're gonna be doing a live action adaptation and we're gonna make Snow White Latina. Why? Because representation is important. We need to represent all cultures and races, not just white cultures. Then why are you adapting a European fairy tale? Oh, we're also not doing any dwarves. Why? Because representation is offensive. Context. Everything needs context. So Disney, as they are on their live-action remake marathon here, have decided to do a live-action remake of Snow White against Walt Disney's Dead Wishes. And as some of you may already know, the actress that they casted for Snow White certainly does not look like Snow White. And this is no offense to the actress, of course, she's a great actress, but it is kind of hard to ignore the fact that Snow White is now being played by someone who does not have extremely pale skin, which is the trademark of Snow White, is the fact that she had very pale skin. But then again, pale skin is offensive these days, so... And then more recently, Peter Dinklage had a lot to say about the live-action Snow White. Now these are kind of off-handed comments. I don't think that he was trying to necessarily get the movie cancelled or anything, it just came up and he briefly talked about it. And the main point that he wanted to bring up is that it was hypocritical for Disney to do this casting and act like this Snow White live action movie is going to be progressive. So what he actually said was, they're very proud to cast a Latina actress as Snow White, but you're still telling the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Take a step back and look at what you're doing there, it makes no sense to me because you're progressive in one way, but you're still making that backward story of Seven Dwarves living in a cave. What are you doing? So I'm sure you already know who Peter Dinklage is. He's obviously most famous for his role in Game of Thrones, as that was a very big thing. But I've seen him in other movies. A lot of terrible movies, I might add. And not every single movie that he's in focuses on the fact that he himself has dwarvism. But, you know, his role in Game of Thrones obviously does focus in on that, and that's one of his most popular roles. I do think it is kind of bizarre to um, hear him talking down on the idea of higher hiring more actors with dwarvism to play fantasy dwarves in a fantasy fairy tale. I do think most people make the distinction that dwarves are a fantasy race and not necessarily talking about the people in real life who have dwarvism. Similarly to how hobbits are no well known as being a fantasy race and not actually talking about any people with big feet in the real world. So it sounded kind of bizarre for me to hear him saying that that's a stereotype. Uh, dwarves in fantasy are known for mining and doing like heavy lifting manly work because despite the fact that dwarves in fantasy are very small, they're actually supposed to be really tough, really strong. My main point is it seems kind of weird to conflate them together as if they're both the same thing. I don't feel like we should have any problem with uh, dwarves still existing in fantasy stories such as Snow White. You could argue that you don't have to hire real actors with dwarvism to even play the dwarves, as there are other movies that take that approach where they just hire regular people and, you know, use some effects to make them appear small. You could do what the Santa Claus did and just hire a bunch of children as the elves. But it just seems a shame to not give actors with dwarvism jobs, especially in roles that they could do really well in. And I guess I understand to some extent that a lot of little people out there who get these jobs might come to resent those jobs because they don't want to be known for just doing those types of roles. I get that. But every actor out there kind of has to take on shitty roles before they get the good ones. I mean, I never thought that Edward would end up doing the Batman movie. Now, like I said, his rant isn't particularly articulated, and I don't think that he planned to talk about it. However, his comments did make ways around the internet, and Disney almost immediately responded to it. And their response was, To avoid reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film, we are taking a different approach with these seven characters and have been consulting with members of the Dwarvism community. Looking further into this article, it says that Disney is intending on making the characters of the seven dwarves to be animated and not actually hiring 
actors who have dwarvism to play them. So now they're saying that they're going to be fantasy creatures and they're not exactly sure if they will stick to keeping them as dwarves, so we could very well have a Snow White live-action remake with a Latina actress and no dwarves. Which kind of makes me wonder, what's even the point anymore? And this live-action movie has definitely been giving me a lot of Mulan vibes, where they change so much about it that it's not even recognizable. And all of the changes are, of course, for the worse. Because, my god, Mulan was just nonsensical garbage. That's what I think Snow White is gonna be, it's just gonna be nonsensical garbage. But like I said, I do understand uh, resenting past roles where you had to use the dwarvism to your advantage when you just wanted to play more serious roles. But of course, physical looks do play a big part when it comes to acting and fitting into certain roles. All that being said, there's a lot you can do with improv to kind of turn it around. Not by ignoring how somebody looks, but trying to use that to the advantage of the story. For example, obviously casting a Latina woman as Snow White, you could have it so that they call her Snow White out of irony because she's not pale. And then you have a very different story, of course, but that could be the the twist that you go with and the reason why you would cast a clearly not pale actress. Yeah, I, I was never going to watch this movie in the first place. Uh, maybe I would watch it just to review it and talk about how awful it is, because I'm sure it's gonna be awful. But I'm also, you know, disgusted by the fact that they would even be making this movie against the founder's wishes. It only goes to show how far removed the company is from Walt Disney the person. I don't know what exactly is going to become of the Seven Dwarves, or what kind of fantasy creature they're going to become. Making CGI fantasy creatures for this movie just sounds like a bad idea. Ugh, there's so much unnecessary CGI in Disney movies these days, like Cruella, they had a bunch of CGI dogs, and they just look so uncanny. They actually made my stomach turn because it was it was just creepy to watch them. I think Disney can hold back on the CGI. I'd rather them just hire a bunch of kids. If they don't want to hire real people with dwarfism, just hire a bunch of kids to play the dwarves. I I don't I don't want there's too much CGI. Anyway. Uh, this movie's gonna suck. But definitely let me know what you think of the casting of Snow White, what you think of Peter Dinklage's comments, and what you think of the response that Disney is giving. Would you watch a Snow White adaptation without the Seven Dwarves? Is the evil queen going to be redeemed at the end and the prince going to be the bad guy? Are they going to have European fantasy music or are they gonna have Latina music? I don't know. Give me your own theories, thoughts, comments, and concerns in the comments section. Like the video if you did enjoy and subscribe for more videos where I talk about comics and animation. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, you. <laughs> Tired of reading bad comics? But there are no good comics. No, you're wrong! There's BurningStarComics.net. <laughs> Original comics made by me and my friends. Stop reading bad comics and start getting to the indies, nerd. Wow. BurningStarComics.net. Check the link in the description. Program restart.